Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. Today is Monday, October 11th, 2021. It is another glorious day to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, for he is worthy of all things. God Almighty is sitting on his throne, and no one is going to remove him. The prayer point for this morning is praying for God's people to be strengthened, to walk on, to run on, to step on, to gain the endurance from the Holy Spirit to face the times, of he- the times ahead. This is Servant Soldier, Sister Amina Light, 17-star general in the Army of Christ, Here again on Praying on the Floor, glad to be about the Father's business. We're going to jump right into prayer. Father God, we thank you for today. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your Son and the atoning blood that he shed on Calvary. We thank you that you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, so that all may have the opportunity to be saved We thank you for the fact that we are yet and still alive, walking here in the land of the living and having another opportunity to give your name praise, honor, and glory. Lord, you are worthy of everything, worthy of our worship. We worship you in spirit and in truth. We exalt you and we magnify your holy name. We are ever so grateful for you, for your son, and for your Holy Spirit. Father God, we call on you, Abba, and we thank you for adopting us and bringing us into right standing. Hallelujah. Seating us in heavenly places. We have now become joint heirs with Jesus Christ. And since we are joint heirs, we receive the same things that you gave your son. We have power. We have authority. We have dominionship. We trample upon the heights. We trample upon the darkness. We trample upon everything that is not of you, O God. And we thank you that you gave us that power and that authority. And it all comes from you. All good things come from you, Father of lights. And that power that we have now is your Holy Spirit that dwelleth within us. The power to live right, do right, eat right, sleep right, be obedient and submissive to your word. We thank you for that. Hallelujah. I pray this morning for all those that will come and join the prayer. I pray for your endurance, remnant of God, remnant people of the Holy One of Israel. I pray right now for number one, for you to have peace in the midst of every storm, every trial every temptation, every situation, everything that comes into your life in this time, in this moment, in this hour, and in this season, I pray that you have peace and that you go into the eye of the storm, go into the middle of the storm, because when you do, you shall meet God there. Hallelujah. There is something about the eye of the storm I'm going to tell you listener of the prayer. One morning I was praying and worshiping and the Lord had me do some worship and I was turning around in a circle very fast and everything around me was moving rapidly. But as I was in the middle of all that rapid speed and everything spinning around, spinning around so much so that it would make you dizzy, I had my warrior flags, and they were pointed out as a sword. The Lord said, look on the flag and keep your eyes focused and stayed in one place. You're in the eye of the storm. And as I looked and I focused and I was in the eye of the storm, everything stood still. But as I was turning, everything was moving quickly. Who can understand the mind of God and how he does things? It was so magnificent. I don't even really have human words to explain it. 
But I will explain it the best way I can so you can get an understanding. Hallelujah. What the Lord explained to me is when the storm comes, don't run from it. A tornado will come and tear down everything. Tsunami swirling. Hurricane swirling. He said, you don't run from the storm. Go into the eye of the storm and meet me there. I am your protector. So as I met him in the eye of that storm, he called All that was waging around me. But I'm going to tell you now, as you face your storms, as you face your trials, as you face your tribulations and your temptations, stand in the eye of the storm and the Lord is with you and peace is your portion. Glory to God. Peace be in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit, in your body. As you face adversity with children, family, co-workers, supervisors, teachers at the school, community is falling apart, shooting and killing in the streets, gang banging, drug selling, prostituting, Stripper poles. Government is falling apart. Systems are falling apart. Church is amiss. Stand, therefore, wearing your armor. God is with you. You stand and you be peaceful in your storm and confuse the devil. Worship in your storm. Praise God in your tribulation. Sing songs to the Lord in your temptations. Dance before the Lord in your troubles. Tears run down your face and still put up your holy hands and say, Thank you, Jesus, in your storm. All of this is part of the prayer to encourage you to endure hardship as a good soldier. Press on, press in, be motivated, keep going, be a doer of the holy word. Surrender and submit unto God everything that is in you and watch him move on your behalf in your life. God is taking care of all your situations. Trust him and believe. No matter what it looks like in front of your two eyes, you're in the eye of the storm. I pray for you, people of God. That you be strengthened in the Lord and in the power of his might. That you be hidden in the shadow of his wings. That you be hidden and you go and enter into the secret place with your Lord and King. That you go and you enter into the holies of holies. Go beyond the veil. Ninianda. Go and get a refilling of the Holy Spirit. Go and get a refilling of the freshness of the Lord, the newness that he pours out to you morning by morning. His grace, his mercy is sufficient for you daily and new is it every day. Great is his faithfulness. Do not doubt what the King of glory is doing in your life. People of God, I am speaking to you this morning because that's what he's telling me to do. He said, pray for my people. And there's a reason why he wants me to pray for his people. The reason why the Lord wants me to pray for his people on this day is because 
His people need to get strong now. Right now, his people must be strengthened to be ready to face heavy persecution, to be ready to face guillotine, to be ready to face turning down the mark of the beast, to be ready to face hatred, malice, envy, jealousy. I'm not talking about that little bitty hater and, and oh, they jealous and oh, they hate. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the kind of hatred where the whole world is against us for serving Christ and refusing to take down the whole world being against you because you believe in the Bible and what it stands for and you won't compromise and you won't cut out pieces of it to suit the satisfaction of those that don't want to serve God in holiness and righteousness. That's what I'm talking about. I'm praying for you this day that you begin to have the desire to read and study the scriptures and rightly divide it and interpret it in the way it should be. I'm praying for you today that you don't rely on just your pastor to read the word to you and that's it. You get it on Sunday morning for one hour and you're done. I'm praying for you to have the desire to have a scriptural life at home. Study time with the Lord when you are all alone with your king. I'm praying that you have the desire to have a prayer life, spending time with the Lord, not just talking to him, but closing your mouth and listening to what he tells you. You're going to need to listen to the Lord. He's going to give you direction that will save your life, your family's life, and the lives of many who are connected to you. This is serious business, what I'm saying to you this morning. I'm praying that you have the desire to turn down your plate and focus on what God is saying and doing and how he is moving and shifting and planning and ordering your steps. Pay attention to this. I'm praying that your desires change. The things that you like to do now, I pray that those things change. The desire of your eye gate to put your eyes on all the things that it shouldn't be on. I pray that that changes. The desire for your mouth to say the things it shouldn't say and to eat the things it shouldn't eat. I pray that that changes and lines up with the word of God. The desire of your nose wanting to smell things, busy body things you shouldn't be smelling and places you shouldn't be putting your nose. I pray that that desire changes. Your ear gate Itching ears, things you just want to hear, want to hear, want to hear. I pray that that desire changes. May your eye gate be set upon the Lord, set upon his word. Looking to the hills when coming to your help, will your help come from the Lord? Your nose gate desire to smell frankincense and myrrh, sweet incense, the smell of Jesus. The smell of holiness, not the smell of marijuana and cigarette smoke and alcohol. Keep your nosy, nosy self out of people's business. Don't be a busybody going to and fro, house to house, idle with nothing to do, gossiping, carrying information from place to place. The only information you should be busy about is the father's business and his word. That's my prayer for you. Real prayer. This ain't no fluff prayer. If you came here for fluff prayer, you came to the wrong place. And your mouth, may your mouth speak wisdom. May your mouth speak the or as an oracle of God and his word. May your mouth learn how to be closed more often than it's open. Glory to God. May your mouth eat the things that are desirable to God and not to your flesh that are unhealthy for your heart, your veins, your arteries, and your body in whole. Hallelujah. Even your brain. 
need certain kind of foods. Be wise in what you eat. You get in tune with the Holy Spirit, he'll tell you exactly what to eat and what not to eat. He'll tell you exactly how to fast and exactly how to stand down and how to break the fast. Your ear gate desiring to hear the scripture desiring to hear the holy word, desiring to hear things that edify, hallelujah, that edify God. And in turn, as it edifies God, it edifies you because you grow in him and you become closer to him. Your ear listening to the right thing and not to voices that are not building up the kingdom. I pray that your heart be guarded and strengthened and at the same time still flow with love. I pray that your mind be focused on what God is telling you to do. I pray that your hands be ready to elamasuk, be ready to serve. We are servants. We are servants. We are here to serve. We are here to care for people with our hands, wash people's feet, go out and feed folks, care for people. We're servants. Our feet should be quick to do good and not evil. I pray that the Lord pour into you more and more and he will as long as you are willing to receive what he is going to give you, what he wants to give you. You've got to be willing. He's not going to force you. I pray for the people of God this morning to get in order and get right and be strengthened. Start to prepare. Boot camp soldier, basic training soldiers. I pray that you be encouraged and motivated, dedicated and committed to what God is calling you, choosing you, planting you, appointing you, and anointing you to do. Souls are weighing in the balance. To whom much is given, much is required, remnant. I pray that you raise up your children in the fear and admonition of the Lord. That's a reverence, a respect of the Lord. Train them up in the way that they shall go and they will not depart. They may go and do what they want when they get to a certain age, but I guarantee you that seed that you sow in them, they will come and they will serve the Lord. You're an example for them. I pray for you, remnant. I pray for you, remnant, to live holy, to live right, to live the scripture, to live the word of God, not just talking about it and listening to it. Live it. It is the only thing that will keep you. The Father does not desire any to perish, John 3 and 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son so that who the world may be saved. And I'm going to tell you like this here, just like he told me this morning. Those that are in the world, they have a choice. Just like you had a choice before you got saved. God called you and you said, okay, I will answer the call because he drew you. God is calling for all of them to come get saved and they get to choose him and say yes or they get to say no. They have a choice. They have free will. They can choose to serve him or they can choose to stay right where they are with the devil. Whether they realize they serve in the devil or not, there's only two. God or Satan, plain and simple. I'm tired of playing with people. I'm tired of playing with people and playing around with this word. I'm not the one to do it. So today I'm letting you know that it is our job. We are tasked to help guide those that are not saved to the king and recognize 
when they say they don't want him, they're not rejecting you when you offer him. They're rejecting God. God has laid it out. He does not want any to perish and they have a choice. So God wants us to be strengthened and us to be ready and us to be in order, remnant, so that we can do the work of winning souls. That's why he wants his people strengthened. Multiple reasons. To face the days of adversity, to face the days of persecution, to face the trouble, and to be a winner of souls. How can we get them and win them when we can't even stand strong? They looking at that. They're going to be like, you, you're not even standing strong in Christ. What am I going to follow you for? So that's why he wants me to pray for you this morning, people of God. We as the people of God need to clean up. I am not out of that statement or out of anything said in this prayer. I'm not exempt to anything. All of it applies to me too and my house. God bless you today. Go in the peace and the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be encouraged. Be motivated. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword, dividing bone and marrow, soul and spirit, and it's a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart of man. May that sword of the spirit discern you today as you are also strengthened by that sword, which is the word of God. Go in peace, go in love. God bless you. Sister, servant, soldier, Amina Light, 17 Star General, peace be unto you. If you so desire, subscribe. God bless you. Love you with the love of Jesus Christ. Peace.